quick update on the 89 Monaco Crown Royale restoration, internal restoration and upgrade project. Oh, that is tore all of the original covering up. So we had tile up until right about there or so. Um, that was done about five years ago. And then this was all engineered hardwood that goes up to here. That's all still totally mangled up. Anyway, um, so as you can see, there's a new uh, shit pipe there, new toilet flange. Uh, there's a new piece of subfloor right here. Uh, originally, that entire area was completely rotted out. Um, this uh, might have had some water come through the uh, refrigerator vent or the refrigerator itself could have leaked out. So all of that was, uh, I chopped all that out. Obviously, all the bathroom flooring and everything, uh, the walls are out. Uh, I'd like to still upgrade the shower, but man, those things are expensive. Um, and I'm also not going to go tile the entire thing, but maybe I'll just replace the uh, the gold surround because uh, it's not 1989 anymore. So, um, anyway, yeah, like I said, all that's new. Uh, I put a couple cross braces here as well, just to stiffen it up a little bit more. Uh, there's a wood cross member, steel cross member, a wood cross member, steel cross member. Steel cross member is just right near the, uh, the ship pipe there. Um, and then I epoxied the entire floor, used a system called Rotfix, uh, mainly for the marine industry. Um, in the fresh sections where there wasn't a water damage, it's, uh, it's pulling up on the surface, so it's not really absorbing too much. Um, especially in the areas that there was water damage, on the walls here where it pulled up, um, it does sink in very nicely. It's, uh, it's like a light, light maple syrup kind of consistency there. And... Yeah, smells kind of nice too. Uh, it's a two to one ratio, uh, made by System 3. So we'll see. Uh, I used like a little bit before, um, just on a couple test areas, seemed all right. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So all this uh, headliner it looks okay on the camera, but it's actually a pretty ugly kind of carpet, textile, rough textile, burlap sack kind of thing. So all that's gonna go, it'll get a nice uh, gray foam back suede, suede headliner, suede liner, whatever. Um, and then over here, take out these dirty fluorescent lights and do uh, rows of three of nice 3150 Kelvin recessed LED lighting. You know, get the mood all right. Um, yeah, I covered everything with dust right now, so I'm gonna give the whole thing a good wipe down. Uh, got your diesel tank here, a little filler. And everything is uh, stripped out of here, so we'll see. Hopefully, uh, give these give us a couple days. Um, well, I was sanded all the the Luan on the walls too, so I'm gonna use some Kills Primer originally, then uh, probably painted a nice, uh, very like light grayish or so. Not doing the Insta Etsy thing that everyone does, you know, with the live edge slabs and uh, cheap white paint and everything. Uh, I'm trying to go for you know doing a two million dollar Prevo look on a thousand dollar budget you know i kind of exceeded a thousand dollar budget a long time ago but hey you know what i mean this figure of speech uh, i get rid of this. look at this this, is a, this looks like a ship galley you know from some of the pirates of the caribbean um so yeah paint all that uh, do a little stone backsplash here with the kitchen um here's the actual cabinet for the kitchen standing up vertically new nor cold fridge uh, i don't know what series it is hopefully this one doesn't catch fire and uh, yeah, hey, uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'll give you guys an update next time.